So let's spawn. Oh, look, we've got a baby one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Echo. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this video, we have been given a brand new beta. This is the beta version 1.5.0.4, and I'm pretty sure that this is phase two for the update aquatic on the bedrock version. Only yesterday, we had the full release of phase one, which was kind of the basic features within the update aquatic, the kelp, the new fish, dolphins, shipwrecks, etc. Now in this version, we do have turtles, but guys, check out the background. Look how fantastic that is. I didn't do this. This is something that Mojang have introduced to the bedrock version. Now if you do enjoy this video and you do enjoy the update videos, be sure to hit that like button. I will leave the full change log down below in the description but we're gonna go through everything that's kind of important. So as you guys can see here, new features, bubble columns, which are a work in progress, sea turtles, sea turtle eggs, we have the scoot and a turtle shell items, potions of the turtle master. Pretty useful, basically you're like a huge jacked up ninja turtle. The next one is the changes, a fresh new menu background for the updated aquatic, which I've just showed you. Coral blocks no longer die as long as one side is touching water. Updated the texture of the top of the kelp. Updated the texture of cooked fish. Default field of view has been reduced from 70 to 60 and can be adjusted in video settings. So that's to do with video settings. This is to do with the FOV. So they changed it from 60, from 70 to 60. I mean, it hasn't changed for me. It might depend on what device you're on. Um, I'm kind of curious guys, did any of you actually change your FOV? Now I'm doing this on Windows 10, but this beta is available for Windows 10, Android, and Xbox. Look at the turtles in the background. So I've kind of created the world here, which does have kind of all the important features within this update. And obviously you guys are going to want to see these things, which are turtles. I was here before, there was a couple of, there he is! Look at him! We have, we have more than one. We have a turtle here and a turtle over there. Now it's kind of hard to tell a beach biome on the bedrock version. If I was on Java, I can hit F3 and it would tell me the specific biome location. On this, it doesn't, which can be a giant pain. But anyway, I'm pretty sure if you find a turtle on sand, it's more than likely that biome is going to be a beach. So let's spawn. Oh, look, we've got a baby one. It's a baby turtle. You have to protect these, by the way, guys, because zombies and drowned and stuff, I'm going to have to show you. They will stand on them. They will try and kill him, so if we grab these real quick, I'm kind of curious if he'll do it. Yeah, look. It's so mean. Yes, get away. Get away from my baby turtle. So yeah, zombies, drowned, anything kind of zombie related will try and kill a baby turtle. So protect them as much as possible. The best way to do it is probably to put them in like fence, in, around the fences. But there's one. Let's get a big one. We have two. And to get the turtle eggs, how this works is you have to feed them. Now you feed them seagrass, which you can obtain with shears. Obviously over time, these will start to plant sea turtle eggs, which I'll show you just in a second. They are so cool. They're, they're a little bit bigger on this version though, compared to the Java version. Like the underneath is a lot bigger. I don't know. Wait, I think I've just realized. Does this mean that this turtle is like going to have babies? I don't know, but we're just going to... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it won't let me breed them anymore. They, they're not going to plant any eggs right now, but I already have the sea turtle eggs because we're in creative. The sea turtle eggs are very similar to the sea pickles, so they can be placed in one, two, three, or even four. Now, they take quite a long time to hatch, guys. For example, I think it took me like a couple of Minecraft day and nights. So these do take a little bit of time. Now, to obtain the turtle helmet slash shit. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. We should have ourselves some turtle eggs in just a second. Come on, big fella. You could do this. I believe in you. He's taking a bit of time. Did he do it? Did he? Yeah, we did. He did. So, as you guys can see there, they have turtle eggs. Now, these little fellows, these are what drop the scoots. Now, to get these guys... You kind of need to, you can speed up their growth, by the way, just by feeding them seagrass with the baby turtles. When they get big, they will drop this, which is the scoot. Now, the scoot sounds like my name. It's really weird because my name is Scott and people call me scoot. Interesting. But anyway, we have these. When you have five of these, 
you can create yourself a turtle helmet. So if we grab ourselves a crafting of the tables, and we place this down real quick, I can show you guys. So the turtle helmet, as you can see, is crafted. And the turtle helmet specifically, guys, is used for water breathing. Now when I have this on, you will notice, I can't even remember what button it is. I cannot remember what button it is. Is it Z? Yes, it is. As you can see there, water breathing. Now you only have it for 10 seconds at a time, but it is unlimited. So if I go down here for 10 seconds, after 10 seconds, this will run out. If I go back to the top, it will then refresh. It's like an ordinary helmet. You can enchant it, I believe, with like unbreaking and stuff, mending. So they're really good. And actually, it's quite a, it's quite a powerful, uh, strong, should I say. It's quite a strong defense. I'm pretty sure it's just as strong as iron armor. So if you get them, use them, they're pretty fun. So that's everything that was introduced with turtles in terms of turtles, the turtle eggs, and what they can drop. But you can also create this as well. This is called the Turtle Master Potion. Now, this is kind of a positive slash negative kind of potion. Obviously, the Potion of Turtle Master introduces slowness for resistance uh, three, which is the positive one, minus 60 speed. So this is kind of like a, a tank. Like, I'm trying to sprint here, by the way, guys. I'm trying to sprint because you can see the particles on the floor. So this basically turns you into a tank. You're basically like a turtle. I don't really like this. It's not really the greatest of potions. But I guess if you're a PvP player and you have this, maybe some of the servers in the future can introduce these. So that is the, uh, you only get it for 20 seconds though. It's really limited. Now it does come in splash potions and the potions of lingering as well. So this next feature is something that you guys have been asking me about for a long time. Where are bubble columns? They've finally been introduced in this beta. The magma block, which is this, will pull you down. This being soul sand will push you up. Now these will naturally generate in the oceans. You will see them if you do a little bit of traveling. I'm really not in the best location to show you guys. Um, and depending on your device, they might look slightly different. They might work slightly different. They did say something about low end devices and high end devices. Since I'm running a 1080 graphics card on Windows 10, I don't really have a problem. So you will notice these in underwater ravines. So go and do some exploring, but I'll show you exactly how they work because they do look really, really cool. So this one being the magma, this one should uh, pull you down. In fact, this one will pull you down. Now I've noticed when placing these next to other blocks, they don't do anything at all. So I try and place them down now that they work. Yeah, as you guys can see, they are a little bit buggy. They did say they're currently a work in progress. But if I go all, oh, oh, they're starting to load in. If I go up top and I'm just swimming normally and I come across this, I'm gonna be pulled all the way down. Now, although you are pulled all the way down, you can breathe within these, which is pretty cool. It's kind of another way to breathe because remember, they really did limit breathing in this, uh, this update. And we've also got here the soul sand ver version. And this one is going to push you up. So as you guys can see, I'm not pressing anything. And it takes you all the way up. The only downside to this one, guys, is this one being the soul sand doesn't naturally generate. It doesn't spawn in the oceans. Only the magma ones do. So if you want to get the soul sand one, you're going to have to... Wait, is the fish going to be sucked out? Oh, he does. The fish gets sucked out too. That's actually pretty cool. So if you want to get the magma, uh, the soul sand, you're going to have to go to the nether. Now, I also want to find... A boat, because I want to show you guys what it's like when a boat goes over it. So if we put a boat over this one, over a certain couple of times, it's going to sink. And if I put a boat here, it's going to it's gonna go all the way up. Like this. As you guys can see. And it's the same if you if you swim over them as well. So if I swim over this one, it's, it's going to pull me down. So be really, really careful, because obviously they do generate in the oceans. Also, it will suck down dolphins. It will push up dolphins. This one's pretty Oh, look, there's the dolphin. Hey, thank you. He was a prime example there. Now, that's kind of the main features that have been introduced, but they did make a couple other changes. One of the changes is to do with the beacon sound. So I'm going to spawn this in and let you guys listen carefully. It's not really a major change, but you can definitely hear a different sound. It's kind of like you've loaded into another world, which is pretty cool. This is also the same with the conduit. So if you don't know what a conduit is, it's basically like an underwater beacon. Let's place this down here. So obviously you have to do this in a very, very similar formation to a beacon. So three here, this goes there. 
conduit goes there and you also have to do it around the outside as well oops i'm using beacons to do this let's not do that one two three one two three i think it's like 20 blocks you have to have something like that come on get rid of you come on i just want to listen to the sound so this is going to power up in just a second so listen carefully Again, they're very, very minor changes, but it is a change. I guess adding more sounds is always a key thing because everybody on the Bedrock version obviously wants to have the equivalent to the Java version. Now, one of the changes I do know that has happened is to do with zombies. So if you spawn a zombie and it's holding something, so for example, zombies normally hold swords, they hold, what else do they hold? Uh, shovels, I think it is. Whatever they're holding, guys, when they die and turn into a drown, they will then drop that item. So I don't I don't know if it works for the likes of the helmets or it works for the babies. Uh, so let's spawn in a couple of these with items and see if they drop anything. So as you can see there, his helmet popped off. Another helmet popped off, which means when this zombie changes he's gonna drop his shovel oh you're gonna have so many items flying everywhere which means you're gonna have an even better zombie slash drown farm this is gonna be really really good i like this so that's all the changes hopefully you did enjoy today's video guys but of course the main exciting thing in today's video was the wonderful the beautiful turtles guys take care stay beautiful have a great day and of course i'll catch you next time bye